And then do you want to shift to the basketball? Because obviously, Please, Craig. Yeah, Please. obviously <laughs> losing this last year, seeing Saban go, that was tough. But you guys are in the final four now. What do you think the chances are? And what, what's impressed you most just uh, throughout this season? With, well, with your team? Uh, it used to be a running joke with Alabama fans, and it would be what happens first? Nick Saban retires or Alabama basketball makes a final four. And mm. for that to happen, let's same say, year, three, three months apart from each other. I mean, it's been a whirlwind of emotions for Alabama fans, but I feel like they're pretty excited. I feel like this team didn't come out of nowhere because the talent had always been there, but they just hadn't performed to where they were, where everyone was expecting throughout the regular season. They, given they did have a tough schedule playing teams like Purdue and Creighton and Arizona, but teams finally clicking at the right time. And now they're in Phoenix. Uh, in their first Final Four. I think that tough schedule prepared y'all, though. I mean, when you're going up against those type of teams, obviously um, they've had some deep runs. Purdue's obviously in the Final Four as well. Uh, Creighton had a pretty good run this year uh, to the Sweet 16. So I think that definitely prepared you. And I got to shout out uh, Coach Nate Oates. I mean, he's doing a fantastic job with you guys. I think last a uh, couple of years ago he made some history making the Elite Eight for the first time in years. Mm -hmm. um, so I think he's doing a great job with you guys' program. Obviously last year kind of – Sucked a little bit because, you know, with some of the controversy and everything around Brandon Miller, but I thought he did an impeccable job with you guys. And what I think that stands out, and I want to hear your thoughts, Max, of what stands up about the Alabama basketball team. But I feel like when I watch the tournament, I feel like it's a, it's a different guy every single night. It's not just one guy you guys are depending on, but I feel like it's a different guy stepping up, whether it's your big, it's your guards. Somebody's always coming up, stepping up big for you guys. For sure. And last year, nothing against last year's team, but last year's team I thought had – more than enough talent to at least reach a final four if not win the championship brandon miller headlining that talent but this year's team just feels more like an actual complete team, team. Mm -hmm. rely on each other everyone can make their shots everybody's going to get their shots up and everyone's going to have their opportunity to go score a bucket and do what they need to do for the team 